said. They say that they're going to change, but they keep getting stuck in that same cycle. Let me tell you, you cannot change by yourself. Maybe your addiction is hate. Maybe your addiction is revenge. I don't know what it is. But Jesus asked the question, do you want to get well? If you do, then allow Jesus to be a part of that change process. If you don't, you're going to be sick for 38 years. And for 38 years, you may not be paralyzed, but you may have a broken family because you've never dealt with the rage that lives inside of you. You may have kids that have wandered off because you don't know how to parent them because you didn't know how to express your love for them. You may end up having no friends because you've never gotten that gossip problem under control. I don't know what it is. Do you want to get well? Can you change by yourself? Number three is get up and go do something with your changed life. Get up and go do something with your changed life. The Bible says that this guy was healed, that he picked up his mat and he walked. He did something with his changed life. The primary question there is, do I want my life to count for something? That's a great question. Do you want your life to count for something? For a lot of us, what we're doing is pretending that we're excess baggage. We're just taking up space here on earth. God doesn't want you to be excess baggage. He doesn't want you to take up space. God wants you to do something with your life, and He wants you to make a difference in this world. Does anybody, has anybody ever watched the X Games? Okay, a couple people have. I love watching the X Games because I can't do any of that stuff. I grew up playing traditional sports like soccer and hockey and baseball. But the X Games blow me away. Inline skating, skateboards, vertical ramps, speed rock climbing, all of that stuff is very cool. And I was watching it a few weeks ago. And in watching it, they have all of these commercials. And in each one of these commercials, they've got this edgy, grungy type of uh, professional athlete in the commercial. And what they say in the kind of the theme of the commercial is be different. That was the big theme, be different. But you know what? As I was watching those commercials and I was thinking to myself, they've completely missed the point. It's not be different. It's make a difference. God's already created us different. There's nobody in here that's just alike. It's easy to be different. I can be different in five minutes. I could shave my head, paint my face purple, cut off my arm and attach a stool to it, and at the end of the service, I would be the stool guy standing at the back door. Thanks for coming to Pleasant Hill. I would be different, but anybody can be different. I could put a spike through my nose or a spike through my ear. I could do anything like that just to be different. But what's difficult for us is to make a difference. I believe that God has already created us different, and He's calling us to make a difference. And when you answer life's primary question, do you want to get well, and you allow Jesus to be part of that change process, and you want your life to count for something, then you're going to make a difference. And that's why we hear about this miracle. That's why we read the Bible to see what God can do. God was in the flesh with Jesus. And He proved it in a physical way. And now He wants to prove it to us in a spiritual way. I hope you take Him up on the challenge. I hope this give you, gives you something to think about. Our last thought is that the Bible wasn't written to tell stories about miracles. It was written so that the stories and the miracles would lead you to a changed life. As we look at our invitation time, and as we look at those two words, changed life, I want to give you an opportunity to come to our altar and pray, to meet me down front. Maybe Jesus is knocking on your heart's door and, and you want to open it to Him for the first time. 
You want to admit that you can't do it on your own and you want to ask Christ into your life. Or maybe you've stumbled a little bit and you've fallen off of that path and you want to get things right with God. Or maybe you want to join the church. Now is the time. It's just for you, just for you to be able to say, I want to change life. Our hymn of invitation this morning is number 312. Let me pray for us before you open your hymnals. Bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for the miracle at the pool of Bethesda. God, we thank you so much for this man who, as Jesus talked to him, as Jesus healed him, Lord, that he stood up and he walked away. God, as we turn our eyes inward and as we examine our lives this morning, God, we just want to answer this question with you. Do I want to get well? And God, we just pray that you would open up that conversation with our hearts. And that, God, you would help to change us. Lord, help us to make a difference. God, thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much for your son, Jesus Christ. And God, we offer this prayer in his name. Amen.